Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> Hello, 45 Alpha Charlie Papa channel here, and today I've got uh, something I didn't think I would ever bring you, um, a Glock. Uh, yeah, I happened to find this one. It found me. I didn't look for it. I've got it at a great buy, but, uh, uh, you know, let's take a look at this uh, this pistol that I they picked up. Wait a second, so did you all of a sudden become a Glock fanboy or something? No, no, I'm not a fanboy. What we have here... Kind of the uh, red-headed stepchild of the Glock family. Um, although, you know, most people who have them really like them. Uh, you don't see them on for sale used. Uh, you don't see very many new ones available, too. It's a hard one to get. But that is the Glock. Thirty-six. Chambered in forty-five Alpha Charlie Papa channel. Or forty-five ACP. I'll go ahead and check this. It's clear, but yeah, I picked this uh, this pistol up. I, I'm really happy with with the purchase. I picked up the pistol, extra magazine with the Pierce Plus One extension, the box, uh, the cable, the cleaning rod, and a crossbreed holster to carry it with. So uh, really, really good buy. Um, only been about 12 rounds down the chamber of this gun, so uh, you know, it's practically new. Uh, I haven't got out to shoot it yet, uh, despite what you may have seen at the beginning of the video here. Uh, but uh, we'll get out shoot it. We'll take a look, see what we think. But uh, that is a, a Glock 36. Um, you know, the Glock that, you know, I look at Glocks. I know they're uh, supposed to be reliable, um, quality weapons. Uh, they look like a brick. Uh, in fact, you know, bricks, I think, look a little better than the Glock, but uh, I think it's growing on me a little bit. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, take this apart. Uh, it comes apart like any other Glock. Uh, pretty simple. Drop the magazine. Check the chamber. Chamber's clear. Pull the trigger. Pull it back just a little bit. Push these little two tabs on both sides down. Slide comes off. And pull the uh, the spring out, pull the barrel out, clean it. But that's uh, all it is to disassembly. Really, really easy uh, disassembly. And to put it together, you just slide it back, just slide back on, and that's all there is to it. It's it's ready to go. We'll get this out to the range, uh, take a look at it, see what we think, and we'll come back with a range report. Lock model 36, first shot.
we're back from the range and as you can see I uh, got a pretty good grouping out of this gun um, we had uh, one failure to eject I think I was limp wristing it but uh, it happened the one time I showed it in the video uh, the rest of the the time we didn't have any issues with it it just ran flawlessly so uh, you know that's a good sign uh, it is a, a fairly new gun like I said it only had about 12 rounds run through it so you know it's still kind of in its break-in period but uh, overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, very happy with the, the accuracy. Pretty consistent. Um, as long as I hold on to it tight, uh, you know, instead of limp resting a little bit, and I think that's kind of what happened with the uh, the failure to eject. Um, have not had any time to uh, look at the crossbreed holster. Very, very nice. You know, things that uh, I like about it. I mean, it's very controllable. I mean, for a 45, it it really doesn't flip a whole lot. Uh, very very manageable very controllable. Um, I do really really like the uh, the sights on it I find that those are very easy for me to pick up especially with my aging eyes um, I like them better than than the red dot sights. Uh, so, you know, that's that's a positive um, Check it. It's it's clear um, You know, it's still tight here. I can't really you know, kept kind of slingshot it to get it closed um, You know, I just can't really operate the uh, the slide release um, maybe be able to operate a little better with some some in it you know as for the trigger um, you know it's got a little take up it is just a little bit gritty not too bad it's it's smoothed out quite a bit um, you know nice five pound you know they say it's a five pound trigger um, I find the the trigger to be pretty nice uh, not bad at all um, I do like the fact that it's got this uh, these serrations, this this target trigger in here is what the Glock calls that. Um, makes your your finger fall on it really nice, gives it gives it a real good feel. Um, things I don't like about the gun, um, because of the slim line, it's only a, a six or seven round magazine. Um, I do like it that it, the fact that it's got that slim line and you know the six to seven round magazine doesn't bother me too much. It's better than the five round revolver that I have been carrying. Uh, I do not like the fact that the uh, magazine release is not ambidextrous. As you can see, it's it's out of my reach uh, for shooting. I've either got to use my other hand to release the magazines, or I got to roll it and and release it um you know, i like uh like on that smith and wesson where i removed it where i can use my other finger to to release the magazines but uh you know this is just something that a lot of the manufacturers do the they're not ambidextrous on their uh, slide release um so it, it is it is what it is it's you know something i don't like it's still kind of blocky looking to me uh, but i can see the uh the appeal of the glock um very manageable uh very easy to, to shoot um, the, uh, you know, just reliable, really, really, really like it. But Hey, Q man, what was your, uh, what was your thoughts on the Glock? Not the Glock. I don't like them. Well, there you go. How about the trigger on it? It's a lot better than the Smith and Wesson. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is coming from a kid who's got $700 wrapped up in a uh, high point, but, uh, that's another video, but uh, overall, uh, really, really like the gun. Um, shot very well. Um, the other thing I the other thing I don't like on it is that I've got to really watch what I shoot for reloads on it. I can't shoot any lead through this. Uh, I got to make sure it's jacketed, uh, jacketed ammunition. So, you know, it's going to cost me a little bit more to reload for it. But uh, overall, very happy with the purchase. Um, what was that? Wait a second. So did you all of a sudden become a Glock fanboy or something? No, uh, I'm I'm not a Glock uh, fanboy yet, but uh, you know, as for if this is a representation of Glock, hey, I, I I might get there, but I doubt it. One more thing before I go, uh, one of the complaints that uh, I heard on this gun was that the magazines did not drop free. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with when you, when you're like this. I mean, if you're trying to drop them, your hands in the way. But if you if you really look at it, both these magazines. As long as the button's fully compressed, drop free just fine. So uh, I think that is maybe a function of how people are, are holding it. I think it may be a function of uh, where your hand might be sitting when you're pressing that, uh, that magazine release. But both the magazines on this particular pistol drop free, so that's not an issue. But this is 45 Level Charlie Papa Channel, signing out.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.